Welcome back, beta testers. Today, I'll guide you through First Draft 2.0, showing you how simple it is to create a high quality blog post in no time. First, let's go over to our dashboard. Upon logging in, locate and select Writing Assistant. By clicking on Writing Assistant, you will be directed to any long form posts that you have created. So let's look for the green button labeled as First Draft 2.0. This is where you will start. But before you can begin using First Draft 2.0, you need to purchase credits. You will do so by clicking on your user main in the top right hand corner, and a drop down menu will appear. Select My Account. Within my account, you can select the Add On tab and select it. Scroll down until you see the option to purchase First Draft 2.0 credits. A drop down menu will appear, allowing you to select the desired number of credits. Note that as a beta user, you are eligible for an exclusive 50% discount on all credit purchases. So from here, you can choose the amount of credits you wish to purchase and click the green purchase button. Now you can complete the payment form by following the prompts. After completing your payment, you will need to wait briefly and then refresh the page to see your first draft credit balance. So let's refresh the page. And there you see, I have seven out of 10 credits remaining. Now that you purchase your credits, we need to make sure we have a company website URL as the default for our projects by going to our profile and scrolling down to company information and entering the website URL there. This will ensure that when the AI assistant is generating internal links and external links, it can do so accurately as it needs a reference point to assign links as either external or internal for your first drafts. And if you're creating posts for multiple websites, it's advised to create projects and to enter in your company website for each one as the AI will look here first. However, if a project is uncategorized, or if the project does not have this URL assigned here, it will default to the one that we assigned in our profile. Now we are ready to create our first post using First Draft 2.0 by locating the Writing Assistant tab on the left side of your screen. And we'll return to the First Draft 2.0 button to begin generating our blog post. Within the First Draft 2.0 dashboard, you'll find step-by-step -step instructions on how to generate your first draft. We'll start by entering our primary keyword or primary topic, specifying our target audience and selecting the tone of our blog post. I've chosen website marketing strategies for my primary topic, and my target audience will be business owners who want a lead generating website. As mentioned, you can select your tone, but I'm going to keep mine as informative. Although there are several tones that you can choose from, such as formal, inspirational, sarcastic, and even witty. For the outline, you can ask the AI assistant to generate one based on your primary topic. So we'll click this button to request assistance. As you can see, Nova is telling us to pause and flash a smile as it conducts in-depth research to create our outline. It will take about five minutes, so please do not refresh or leave this page because it will interrupt the process. Once the outline is completed, you can review it carefully. You see, the outline provided is very detailed, possibly containing more headings than you need. It's advisable for you to select the most relevant H2s and H3 headings for your audience. Also, it helps to reduce the word count, as you can see here, 
This one is showing that it will generate around 6,900 words, which is a bit much for my taste. To reduce the word count by maintaining relevance, I will delete unnecessary H2s and H3 headings until I reach my desired word count. For example, I'll delete this H2 and these H3s following it, as well as this H2 and this H3, because it's not really relevant as I don't need any social media information in this particular post. When I delete it, you'll see that my word count has gone down. So I'm going to take the time to edit my outline and bring my word count down to about 3,000. Okay, I have edited my outline and gotten my word count down to about 2,625 words. And to finalize this process, we have the option to include three title suggestions, three meta descriptions, image alt text for each section, bolded text for important keyword phrases, hyperlinked external sources, an FAQ section, as well as cited sources. Now let's create our first draft by clicking the large purple button on the right. And you'll see a green alert letting you know that your blog post generation has started and you'll be notified by email as soon as your first draft is ready. And on the left-hand side, Nova, our AI blog writing assistant, gives us all the details to remind us not only that the blog post is being generated, but that you'll receive notification once it's ready through your email, an approximate time you can expect to wait for the completed first draft, a reminder that you can click go back to dashboard to see your post progress, or you can start a brand new draft by clicking the reset button above right here. And also as a friendly reminder, AI writers are a tool to help you get closer to a published ready blog post. But as always, it's recommended that you add your own voice, opinions, experiences, adds edits to your blog post to ensure your content is valuable to your reader and that it ranks better on Google. So let's go to our dashboard and check on the progress of our first draft. And as you can see, the blog post is still generating. But after the approximate time that we've been given, we should receive an email. And if you receive the email while you're still on this page, you can refresh the page and see that the first draft is completed. But guess what? You don't have to hang around here. You can go about and do all the other things that you have on your to-do list. And when you receive the email, it's a way that you'll be alerted that you can now view your blog post in Brainwork. So I'm here in my email as it's another way to be alerted that your first draft is completed. In this email, you will see the title of your first draft, as well as options to go back to the dashboard, go directly to view your post, or jump right into making edits by opening your first draft in the blog builder. That's what we'll do. Here is where you can make your blog post even more robust. By clicking on the AI Assistant icon and going to the SEO tab, you can better optimize your blog post. But as you can see, it's doing pretty well already. As you scroll down, you'll be able to see an opportunity for you to insert a featured image. But you can also add some of your FAQs into your blog post. You can view sources for your external links, as well as other title suggestions, meta descriptions, alt text suggestions, all to help you create your blog post in record time. Be sure to save your blog post as completed as a draft or as publish, depending on where you are in your workflow. And when you've made all the necessary edits, you can export your blog post by selecting download and choosing which format you would like to export your post. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to use First Drive 2.0. We would love to hear your feedback so we can make your blogging journey even better.
We hope to hear from you soon.